Goodwood Art Show had, had this, uh, this Matthew Barney Drawing Restraint 19 piece in it. They were populating the website with different, with different boards that were coming up. As soon as I saw that, I was like instantly like drawn like, wow. Matthew Barney made a board, then he put a piece of graphite on the end of it. So it's kind of almost like a pencil, and it goes with the drawing restraints that he's done previously. And it was very awesome that he donated a board for the project. I liked what we were doing in the neighborhood, so it was sort of an easy ask if he was interested in doing a good wood board. And then what was surprising was that he not only did a board, but he did a drawing restraint series board, which turned it into you know, a whole project in itself. They wanted a skater and artist to ride the board, and we just felt Lance was like the perfect guy. Whoa, this is the board? Strange. Weird. That's how, does that look like real? That was my first time, time I saw it. Because he's been doing art since I can remember. It's neat to see them collaborating together. I got an email from Gwen Vitello, which is Fausto's wife. She asked me if I'd do this thing, and I never get emails from her, so I was like, okay, I'm, I'll, I'll do, you know, Fausto and her and Thrasher and Indy, all that gave me a, a huge life in skateboarding and if she's going to ask me to do something, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. You want to go to Detroit and do this thing possible photo thing? I was like, yes. Then I started learning what it was and it was like, you're going to be working with an artist or an artist made a board that has a graphite tip and it's, you're going to skate around and make marks. And so I'm like, okay, what do they want? <laughs> that's, that's pretty broad. The, the Drawing Restraint series is, is more or less about, uh, you know, kind of like a, putting a constraint on yourself and then, uh, then, then being creative within that constraint. The fact that I was able to get this board uh, that was to benefit the park as well as, you know, me being a fan of Matthew Barney independently, I had to go for it. When I first saw the board, it was a little different than I thought it would be. I thought it would be on the tail to make marks. It was on the nose and a lot harder to make marks off the nose. So I was like, man, I wonder if he'll be, be all right if I rode this backwards. And it was really thick too and that posed as a challenge so it made it difficult. It was almost like in a weird way, like handicapping the way that you, you would skateboard. I saw videos and photos of what Matthew Barney had done, so I was like, okay, it's pretty straightforward. He just, I, he's probably just going to want some marks that kind of tell you what skateboarding's doing. And instantly, you're going to get a board and go like, I want to do a trick on it. And tricks aren't going to give the marks. It's not the, it's, I know what it is, you want to see the flow or the movement of skateboarding. So if you start trying tricks on it, it just was, Gonna make it like a little dink. Lance basically did over 150 kick turns, dragging the nose over and over and over again on the ramps at the ride at Sculpture Park. And I've actually always liked the, the lines you make when you wall ride, and it's that same kind of strange arc. So it was nice to see that kind of happen at the park as well. It's a, it's a neat project, and it's definitely something that people really haven't done, you know. And you know, it's, it's with skateboarding and art and it's stuff that we love to do and it's stuff that Lance loves to do and so it's like a perfect marriage. It was super cool. It was, you know, I love trying weird experiments. We really want the skate park to be an art project in some way, whether that means art that gets infused in it or that it becomes an art project totally. So it was a great sort of physical move to actually have a Matthew Bonney drawing performed and drawn on the park.